I've spent a little bit of time today playing around with these strip locks mini 60 uh, what they call invisible joiners that are a system that is supposed to take the place or fit in about the same size slot as your standard number 20 biscuit I found a couple little nuances that I want to tell you about though um, number one and they explain this in the directions but there's just not a good video out there anywhere to to explain a better method really uh, they show videos of assembling things with them but not so much the installation process so um, I think these are available at Woodcraft um, maybe the larger version but I don't know if very many people have really used them but I think they're gonna work really well for my application but as you see it, it, they're about the same size as your number 20 biscuit but one thing you need to absolutely check yourself is to make sure that the depth stop on your biscuit joiner, if you're gonna use this to install them instead of a router bit, is set to the perfect depth for the slots you're gonna to need to cut for these. The other thing you have to be mindful of is your standard biscuit is about four millimeters in thickness. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a standard equivalent that's close or what, but the slot for the Mini 60s is actually seven millimeters. Now they make a router bit for it, um, but really, I'd really love to use a biscuit joiner if possible to do this, just to simplify things a little bit. So uh, what you have to do is make one plunge in at the proper depth, first of all. Then you have to reset the height on your biscuit joiner three millimeters deeper, and I used calipers to do that, and then make another slot. So you get four millimeters in the first slot, three millimeters in the second for a total of seven. Once you get those seven, you glue or epoxy these in place. Here's the mating piece. You see the little hooks on it. And this isn't gonna glue, this isn't glued in, so I'm gonna pull one of them out. I'm gonna join this together. You mate them together, slip, and you see it lines up at my lines that I made for my biscuit joiner. Now I'm going to pull this apart. This normally wouldn't happen because they'd be glued in place, but I pulled the mating piece out there just to show you exactly how this works. So, and there's a little unit. Now I'm getting really good focus on this, so I'll show you. I actually took a chisel, a really small chisel, and I chipped off this little detent mechanism right here and I'll show you in another piece that actually makes them lock together there's a little detent nub that that locks in between this it's not that it's completely disassemblable but it would be difficult um, let me grab one that hasn't been modified yet here we go See the little nub right there in comparison to one that I have modified so it doesn't lock necessarily because I'm going to have like six of these on one panel that I'm assembling to a frame. So this one's been removed with a chisel and then this one right here is still on there. And if I insert that in one of the female pieces, you can see where it would where it would detent in. I'm not gonna slide that any further because I'll lock it. But that's pretty much it on these. Um, like I said, I haven't glued one of these in yet, but uh, I think I need to go just a little bit, like a hair deeper on this depth to get it that joint perfect. But otherwise, I think they're gonna work pretty well.